and this is Ginn running it out. Ginn takes the hit and is brought down. That returns good for about 21. First down at the 16. Brought down by Mosley. Bernard's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. It's Bernard in the backfield. Looking long. As you look at this offense, a player to watch, of course, is Deshaun Jackson. He should be something else in this one. Yeah, he's a tremendous threat down the field. There's no doubt about it. He's so fast. And uh, if he gets open, get him the football, he can make a miss and he can go all the way. Third and seven. And it's spotted away. Good play that time by the defender. He read the quarterback, got in position, and knocked that pass away on third down. The Raiders elect to go for it and bypass the punt on fourth down. The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Ginn has the reception. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. I think as a head coach, when you go for it on fourth down, backed up inside your own territory, hey, you don't have to explain that to your players. You made a decision you thought was going to work. It didn't. Great starting position here for the offense. Cutler's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Jones is there to make the tackle. Mason's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That's a gain of only a yard. Third and seven. Delaney Walker has the catch. Jones is the one who brings him to the ground. We watched him in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, then you said it, Vinny. Touchdown, Seattle. That touchdown has them sitting pretty as the first quarter winds to a close. Wow, you know, something sitting pretty, something I've never done. But, you know, I do the best I can. That's all I can do, Jim. But, hey, the offense, the team, they're so sharp. What a job by them so far. They got a nice lead here. The Seahawks getting ready to kick it off. Jackson's got it on the return. The Raiders have to still be thinking about what happened on their last possession as they get ready to start this next one. Well, how can the offensive players have confidence? They're thinking, man, well, how's this game going to be managed? We can be in any situation, and we're going to go for it. It's just crazy. It's bad. It's not smart. And you just got to play better. You wonder where the threshold point is from your own side of the 50. I'm fourth and 30, is it? Fourth and 35. At what point do you decide to go punt the football? I think it's quite evident there's no threshold. They're going to go for it no matter what. He always makes his presence known on that defensive front. Muhammad Wilkerson. Big Bowl can get it done anywhere he lines up for the defense. That's for sure. Outside, inside. And it's a shame he wasn't an all pro last year because, trust me, that was a travesty. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter, and it's a first down. Bernard lines up as the single back here. Now first and ten. Looking at every option. Comes down with, no, the defender tips it out. Good job that time by the secondary. 
They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. The Raiders pistol set here. Second and ten. Kendricks makes the grab. Wilson's there to take it down. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. This is third down. The Raiders will look to get to the 37 to pick up a first down. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it, but what a job and effort. The Raiders from the 32. Set up screen to Bernard. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs. The Raiders that time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision, but you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. you got to keep them up. The Seahawks really have this offense cranking, Phil. They scored on their last two series. You know, what we see now in the NFL, so many different ways to move an offense. Green touchdown. Can you believe this score? Hard to believe. And then here in the NFL, you don't see this too often, especially early in the second quarter, where you think one team has absolutely no chance of winning this game today. Turn the kickoff. Jackson's going to test the coverage this time. Breaks at the tackle. Jackson's taken down at the 18. And a run back of about 19. The Raiders ready to take over again. They rolled the dice on their last possession, Phil. Going for it on fourth down in their own territory. And, of course, they failed to convert. Look, there's nothing like being aggressive. I like being aggressive, too, when I'm the coach of the team. But, listen, that was just uncalled for when you're in your own territory. Mohamed Wilkerson with the sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback. And the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. A long field ahead of him at the 10. Foles is lining up in the pistol. Going for the home run, but it's incomplete. Well, every coordinator in the NFL has a box over there somewhere in that play sheet for third and long. When he wants to try to pick the play up for the first down with a throw down the field, it could be seams, double moves, but they have four or five of those types of plays to pick up third and long situations. One thing that's truly evident here is that this has been a defensive unit that's been the aggressors and setting the tempo in this first quarter plus. Always a good thing for your football team when your defense is out there playing fast and being reckless and being aggressive. And they've done all three so far here in this game. Bernard lines up as the single back here. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. It's intercepted. Early in the second, and this offense is looking at a long day ahead. Who are you ever? Here we are early in the second. You said that, Jim, and all I can say is keep your head down, keep working, and try to get better. There will be better days ahead. First down at the 50. The defense gets a sack. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback. They are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. Cutler is lined up. Two tight ends set. 
the Seahawks will take the snap from the 40. And he's sacked again. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. Third down on the way. The Raiders with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Cutler steps back into the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. It's complete to Jeremy Macklin. The Seahawks will risk it here, going for it on fourth down. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. The Seahawks don't want any part of punting the football. They're going to go for it on fourth down. It's a two-tight end formation. With drop back. The Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. You're talking about a bonus. When you get a defensive tackle that can get in the backfield and sack the quarterback, that is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. First and ten. Johnson's got it on the handoff. After running it, it's second down. Foles will take it from the gun. Throws the pass. The Raiders get a first down. Coming to the line at the 35. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Launches it down the field. Makes the catch, but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. Well, you must, on the offensive side, throw the football deep three or four times a game. That time, they're just not able to connect on the deep throw. That leads us to second down. They'll go shotgun here. Snatches it with one hand. Well, he's such a great athlete. Of course, you've got to be a great athlete to be able to make a catch like that. First down here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Takes it from the eye. Picked up a couple that time. Bernard's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, well, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Complete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. The line of scrimmage is the 16. The Seahawks with a nickel look here on defense. Third and eight. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. The Seahawks, one timeout remaining. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Johnson's taking the handoff. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. 
fullback gets the touchdown. So many things they do are underappreciated. Blocking for the running back, protecting the quarterback, but nothing like scoring a touchdown. The Raiders getting ready to kick it away. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Seahawks found themselves in good position the last time they had the ball but chose to go for it on fourth down instead of bringing out the field goal unit and that proved to be costly yeah they got to remember who they're going against on the defensive side this defensive coordinator is smart he knows all these situations and he gets right with the offensive coordinator boy for as well as they drove the ball down the field the last time they had it only to come up empty on that fourth down stop how is this offense going to react on this drive? I don't know. I can tell you from experience, it's demoralizing when you drive the football and you get in scoring territory where it's three or seven and you come away with nothing. It's it just, it's tough. So you've got to pick yourself up and make it happen. Steps out of bounds. Melvin is under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Cutler's completion percentage, 80% on the day. First down, following the long play. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. It's on target to Jeremy Macklin. The Seahawks have to take their final timeout. That's it. Defense now signaling for a timeout. They come to the line at the 31-yard line. First down at the 31. Jeremy Macklin makes the catch. and goal from the seven. Cutler's taking off. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. You play against this quarterback, you got to worry about so many things. He's smart. He makes good decisions. Has a terrific throwing arm, and he can also do this. You cover him, he'll find a way to get it done. That's a nice scramble for the touchdown. A good first half of action here, and soon we'll be sending you to Orlando and to our host, Larry Ridley, you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And he's met head on right there at the 20. The Raiders talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Launching it deep. Foles is going to be in the pistol here. Second down and ten. Looking to go down the field here. Intercepted. Another low light to add to the list for this offense with a third quarter interception. Did you just call me a low life? Is that what you said? Oh, no, you meant low light like a bad moment. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's just another bad moment for the offense. Jay Cutler with the deep ball. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Third catch today so far. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down and 10. Got hit on release.
Second down after the incompletion. Cutler comes out in the pistol. And intercepted. He's in the clear. Now at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. What a catch. What an interception. And not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Oh, shoot. That... That gets close to making him quit. It's good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. The Seahawks offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. Man, they should thank the defense bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. You're right. They're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. The Raiders' defense now is going to go nickel. Williams there on his way. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And they are in on Williams. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. Cutler's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Mason's tackled down after a gain of two. They're going to the hurry up. Back to the line. Mason's handed the football. And Casey in on the tackle. Well, that last play almost got them in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. take that game plan that worked so well in the first half and add to it here midway through the third quarter with another touchdown, Phil. So my answer is, what's the defense thinking? My gosh, the game plan didn't change on the offensive side, but you had no answers for it. Time to get on that sideline and figure out what you want to do. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Jackson's got it. Breaks the tackle. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Raiders offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. And Sherman nearly had the pick. Bernard lines up as the single back here. The Raiders will blow another timeout now, leaving them with just one for the rest of the game. Second down following that incompletion. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Again, can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. 
That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. That's his third catch of the day. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. Foles completion percentage, 40% on the day. up as the single back here second and ten Foles is unable to find his target that time well, I think it's important for the defense anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are give a little ground and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker third down following the incompletion Foles takes a look now from under center Dropping back three. And it's knocked down. The Raiders really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. They bring back out the offense to go for it. It's Foles out of the pistol. The Raiders have it at the 34. Down on the field. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs. The Raiders were putting together quite a drive, but they don't finish it off, and they'll turn it over on down. Yeah, it's disheartening. Anytime you do this, you have a good offensive series, then you don't convert in a most crucial situation. Depressing, go to the sideline, try to correct it. It's Mason with the catch. Mason's tackled down at the 43. The Seahawks are in front thanks to their quarterback. Cutler's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart making decisions. And when you put those two things together, that's why your football team is winning. Smith taken down. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down. And that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The grab is made by Jackson. Set up now at the 28-yard line. First and ten. Cutler is going to scramble. Still not taken down. Running room. The Seahawks will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. Just 25 yards to pay dirt. Mason, the lone setback this time. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. The reception, the margin is increased with another touchdown. And that just adds to what was already going to be a lopsided victory. Well, you and I have done a few lopsided wins, but this one will be right at the top of the list and right from the very start. You know, we heard it from the coaches. They had a lot of confidence in their team today. And boy, their team came out. They were sharp and they got it done. All right, here we go. Zebra. Zebra. He runs with it right up the gut. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Seahawks in position. They're going to go with the onside kick. Got a flag. And Phillips is tackled down at the 38. 
You try the onside kick, and you've got to make sure, first off, that the ball travels 10 yards. That's a penalty. Hey, you know what you say to the kicker here in this situation? If you're the coach, you count to 10. That's how far it's got to go, son. Get the ball 10 yards. Foles a set in the pistol. Now first and 10. And the catch is made by Giovanni Bernard. It's now second down. Bernard lines up as the single back here. Ted Ginn takes it in. That gains a few. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets a completion. Good job. Foles is completion percentage, 40% on the day. The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Third and five. Set up screen to Bernard. And that game's won. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. The Raiders take it from the 28. Bernard with the reception. He's taken down at the 23. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. First and 10. Just 23 yards to the end zone. Foles ready for the snap. Empty backfield. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back. Because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. Going for it on fourth down. The Raiders take it from the 23. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs. Fourth quarter, fourth down. The defense has all the answers today, Phil. Well, it turned out the lights. No, I was going to sing that song, but, you know, my voice doesn't feel real good right now. But the team has played well. Great stop on fourth down. And uh, what a job all around today. All three phases of the game, they played very well. Mason's brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Staying with the passing game on first down. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Jones is really hit hard that time. I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Going deep. And they can't connect. This is a tough situation for the offense, third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game, so there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over.
following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Last play before the two-minute warning. And it's spotted away. The Seahawks don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. They're set to punt it away now. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Takes the hit, throws. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Great starting field position for the offense. Bernard lines up as the single back here. Heaving it down the field. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. The wide receivers, they are turned into stars in the NFL. And you know why? Because they can make catches like this. What a great catch. The Raiders preparing for the onside kick. They have been fighting an uphill battle, and they had to recover that onside kick. Well, it was a tough spot for them, Jim. We know that. When you're going for the onside kick, and you're trying to recover it. I think your chances are about one out of ten. And that time, it was not on their side. First down and ten. Mason's taking it on the screen. Jones going to make the tackle. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Coming to the line at the 33. First down at the 33. And Walker can't hold on that time. Walker is going to be so mad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. And then finally, you get open, they call a play, but you're the, the primary guy. It's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. The football will come your way again. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Mason's going to secure the handoff. Floyd's the one who made the big stop. Well, we know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. Cutler's running away from the pressure. Macklin's going to pull in the bullet pass. 